The following is the original ending to Does Ken Penders Own Anything? Please watch that video before proceeding, or you will be terribly confused, or more confused than you already are. So remind me again, what are we doing here? Time. That's what I've been missing, Belle. If I can alter the timeline, I can prevent Archie versus Ken Penders from ever happening. And how are you supposed to do that? Do you remember how we got here? No, and I can't understand why. It's a side effect of the reality jumping, which is exactly what we did. Hopping from one reality to another with this. We arrived to this reality in the hope to make our own a better one but none of us realized it could be used for a different purpose entirely. Oh, I see where this is going, to alter time. Exactly. With a few adjustments, I can make this thing into a full-blown time machine. But how can you prevent Archie versus Ken Penders from ever happening? It's honestly really simple. I need to set the date for 2001, visit Archie Comics headquarters in New York, let them know what's on the horizon, thus avoiding that future. But weren't the contracts and money main issues? True, which is exactly why I happen to have copies of said contracts and a buttload of money I may or may not have stole. It sounds like a good plan, but we have no idea how this is going to affect the fabric of reality itself. We've always been pulling things from other realities, but never making an attempt to alter this one. I know, but this is our one shot to make things right and to make a better future. Zwolf, how are we looking? Ready! Come back in one piece after all this. I will... Scratch that. He better come back in one piece after all this. Look, Mommy! A talking animal! Dear, that's one of those furries. Best to move along. Okay, that is probably the second weirdest interaction I've ever had. Okay, 325 Fayette Avenue, Mamaroneck, New York. That address should be here. Can I help you? Hi, my name is Jordan, also known as CJ. I'm a bear. Don't ask questions. I'm from the future. Yeah, from the future. Listen, we have a lot of mentally ill folks in New York, so you wouldn't be the first... I really don't have any time for this. Here, see this thing? That doesn't look like any PDA I've seen. It's a smartphone. It's like a computer and a phone mashed into one device. It has everything that you need to know about what I'm talking about here. Mr. Penders is going to do that? Yes, but I do have a way you can avoid that. This suitcase has everything you're going to need to avoid it. Store it in a closet and don't open it until 2010. All right, I think that's something we can do. But my boss isn't going to believe me when I saw I received this from some costumed creature from the future. Just tell them it was something you found in the archives and it should be stored away. You never saw me. Understood. Wait, where did he go? I need to lay off the coffee. Ah, <sighs> that was a successful mission. Wait a minute. Things look... different. Like, really different. Destroyed. Different. Bell? Zwolf? Anybody? God have mercy on me. What have I done? Hedgehog, priority. One, One 